Imagine a place where dairy cows used to gather every day to deliver milk. Now, try to imagine sitting down there for a fancy dinner or even a wedding. That's the vision of some folks in Draper who have launched an unusual preservation effort. John Hollenhorst has the story. For weeks, bulldozers have been clearing a site for the proposed rendezvous shopping center, but they're leaving one building unscathed. We'll do everything around the barn and leave the barn standing. It's the old Day Family Dairy Barn. We told you about it three years ago. The Day Family shut down the dairy and moved it to Utah County. This barn was built in 1920 by Elias John Day. Lorraine Day remembers award-winning cows, a family livelihood, and a rich history Draper is in danger of forgetting. I mean, it wasn't subdivisions, it wasn't big stores, it was agriculture. A partnership of preservationists proposes to move the barn to city property. And so just to have one remnant of one barn I think would bring back a story that we could tell on that property. The barn isn't worth a lot in dollars. The people who are trying to save it bought it in an auction for 900 bucks, but now they're trying to raise money to move it and fix it up. I think of cowboy poetry or maybe barn dances, something like that going on there. The developer backed off to give them a chance to raise the money. I obliged because I love their passion feel their desire to maintain history and want to be a part of that. We can use it for banquets, even weddings, parties, company parties. People would be able to brag that they were married in a dairy barn? You bet. The cost of preserving history? About $75,000. John Hollenhorst, Eyewitness News, Draper. But the fundraising effort has to move swiftly. The city of Draper has put a deadline of March on the proposed move. If you want to learn more, you can go to our website, ksl.com.